Hello, and thanks for joining Class Surgery 90210. Today we're going to be answering the 10 most common questions people ask me when it comes to tummy tucks. With the tummy tuck, there's sort of two phases. There's the healing phase, and then there's the more of the recovery phase. So I would definitely give yourself about 10 to 14 days after the uh, surgery to sort of heal and make sure the incisions are doing okay, ideally get the drains out and everything like that. And then usually it takes another month to six weeks for all the swelling to go down. So initially take off two weeks from work. If your work is a very demanding, maybe it's loading stuff, picking up stuff, heavy stuff, maybe you want to take off three weeks, but for a typical sitting kind of job, maybe you want to take off two weeks. So a tummy tuck abdominoplasty is a surgical procedure. So with any kind of surgery, anything could go wrong. But I'd say probably the most common complication that we have with the tummy tuck is wound breakdown, where the incision opens up a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit where you reject a suture, maybe it is too much tension in the incision and the incision opens, but nonetheless, probably wound complications are probably the most common thing. Other things that can happen, it can be infection, rare, it can be bleeding, extremely rare, it can be a collection of fluid. Either that fluid is a seroma, a collection of serous fluid, or maybe it's a collection of blood, like a hematoma. So there are tummy tucks and there are tummy tucks. You may look online and see, oh, wow, why did she even have a tummy tuck because her tummy is so small? And then you'll see tummies where the tummy is literally below the knees. So smaller tummy tucks take a shorter amount of time, larger tummy tucks, extended tummy tucks take longer. So the smaller tummy tucks may take about two hours. The extended tummy tucks may take about maybe four to six hours. So we get that common question, patients should wait till they've had all their children before they have a tummy tuck. But now with the advent of laparoscopic gastric bypass and stomach uh, reducing procedures where patients lose a lot of weight at a younger age, the paradigm, the way we treat patients has sort of shifted in the fact that now we treat patients at a younger age and we're doing these extensive tummy tucks. So yes, you can definitely have children after a tummy tuck or a body lift. The baby is perfectly normal, the head's not squished, the baby's not premature, and it doesn't uh, complicate the pregnancy uh, whatsoever. So after the procedure, it's very important to treat your scars. Now, it's very important that you work with your plastic surgeon in what they believe, but I personally believe that, and the medical data supports it, silicone is very important for the scar to heal. Silicone should be based in a cream form where you apply it directly to the incision two or three times a day. Silicone should also be applied in like a strip. You can get strips and apply it to the scars. Those are probably the most important uh, ways to treat the scar. Compression is also very important. That's why we're having the compression garments to apply physical pressure to squish the scar. Then you can treat actively the scar with things like lasers, microdermabrasion, microneedling. Sometimes we inject it with things like steroids or 5-FU. Those are the uh, injections that we do. And then there are also resurfacing procedures that we do where we do dermabrasion and we sand down the incision all the way to the point of where we actually cut out the scar. Candidacy really depends on your physical health do you have diabetes that's out of control? Do you have high blood pressure that's out of control? Are you still overweight? Are you still gaining weight? Are you not exercising? Are you not eating right? So those are very important components that you and your plastic surgeon should discuss before you think about having a tummy tuck. So it really depends on your anatomy when you come in. It really depends on your plastic surgeon and what they can do as to your generalized results. But in the average tummy tuck, you should get a flatter tummy. In my practice, 99% of the time we're plicating or bringing the muscle together, so that really flattens out the tummy. It should raise and reduce the pubic region. That's very important on male and females when we're doing the uh, tummy tuck. And uh, we should be able to get rid of a lot of skin and fat during the procedure. It's not a weight reduction surgery. That's a different kind of surgery. Those are like gastric bypasses and things like that. Those are surgeries done to help you lose the weight. Maybe it's 50, 80, 100 pounds or more. The tummy tucks really are more of a shape surgery. They're getting rid of excess skin and fat and really tightening things up. So if you're looking for losing a lot of weight, well, you should think about weight reduction in terms of diet, exercise, and maybe even surgery. Or if you're looking for more of a shape uh, improvement surgery, then you're thinking more like a tummy tuck. So the results of the tummy tuck should last your lifetime if you take care of it. So it's very important that you continue to eat right after your tummy tuck and you continue to exercise after your tummy tuck. Tummy tuck's sort of a, a reset. It gives you a new body, but you still gotta take care of it. It doesn't give you a license to eat a lot of potato chips or a lot of french fries. You know, those are still sort of uh, on the prohibitive list if you wanna keep your tummy tuck results. So we've done at least a thousand tummy tucks uh, and uh, so many more body lifts. 
uh, to get you a nice flat tummy. So key components of a tummy tuck, muscle plication, very, very important permanent suture, belly button relocation, getting rid of excess skin and fat of the tummy, correcting the pubic region, and also it's combined a lot of the time with liposuction in the hips to get you that perfect shape. So if you're thinking about tummy tuck or you don't know where even where to start, please give me a call, uh, 310-859-7770. Give me a call.